Canada is a land of opportunities and dreams, but behind that, there is a silent struggle. The living costs are rising while the wages remain quite stagnant. In this video, we explore the realistic cost of living versus salaries to make your life more enjoyable while you spend less and make more. We're also giving away one month of free rent with rentals.ca. Make sure you stay until the end of the video to learn more about that. When it comes to salaries, I want to use data provided by Statistics Canada to present an unbiased picture across the country. We begin with 25 to 34 year olds, a generation on the rise. Their average yearly salary starts at $46,900 with a monthly average of $3,908. Quite an impressive leap from the preceding age group. As we move into the 35 to 44 age bracket, the landscape changes. These established professionals earn an average annual salary of $63,700 with a monthly income of $5,308. And now the 45 to 54 year olds with an average yearly salary of $66,700 and a monthly income of $5,558, they continue to climb the career ladder. Here, we find leaders with decades of experience making their mark in management and leadership positions. Yet, the rate of salary growth is smaller. An important question is what jobs offer the highest salaries in Canada? According to Indeed, specialized industries with extensive education requirements lead the way. The medical field takes center stage. The role of an anesthesiologist stands tall with a jaw-dropping national average salary of $358,908 per year. Beyond medicine, tech and data industries offer high-paying opportunities. Positions like software architects, corporate controllers, and data scientists boast national average salaries ranging from $84,630 to $109,021 per year. As most of my audience consists of people new to Canada, I think it's important to discuss the living costs, as they are often much higher than in other countries. And most importantly, how to lower what you spend per month. For immigrants in Canada, the dream often comes with a hefty price tag. The average cost of living for a single person, excluding rent, is estimated at $736 per month and $2,323 for a family of four. But let's face it, that's just the bare minimum. Many international students rent together, therefore decreasing their housing bill. For example, this amazing building in Toronto offers the best amenities. And a studio here starts at $2,500 and one bed is $3,000 plus. But if you are to get a two bedroom apartment, not only does it come with more space, but with roommates, you can significantly save while having access to the premium quality of life of this apartment complex. You can apply this concept to less premium buildings. I also found this separate room for $950 per month. It looks like it's inside a shared house in Toronto. Quick tip for you. To save money, you need to look for housing on platforms with the most options. This is why I partnered with Rentals.ca for this video. Rentals.ca is the biggest rental platform in Canada. No matter what city, you'll find a lot of options. Even better, if your budget is tight, you can use their filter and click on cheap. This will show you the most affordable rentals in your city. If you're new to Canada, Rentals.ca can help make your new chapter successful. Click on the link in the description and check them out. Groceries alone can dent your wallet significantly. With inflation on the rise, what was once affordable is now a challenge. A normal grocery basket is $347 per month. I go to Costco and buy stuff in bulk, uh, therefore I usually spend about this much or a little more. Though if you don't eat meat or fish or certain fruit, you can survive on about $200 per month on groceries. Transportation, another major expense. A car is costly and public transit isn't far behind. But with some planning and budgeting, there are ways to make this aspect more manageable. For example, a monthly bus pass here in Halifax is $82.50. This gives you access to the ferry and city buses. International students often get a complimentary annual transit pass from their schools. Clothing and entertainment expenses can also add up. 
Striking a balance between needs and wants can help create financial breathing room. If you buy clothes strategically when they're on sale, you can cut costs more than in half. For example, Zara, every three months they have a sale where you can buy clothes at 50% off. One way for international students to cope with expenses is to maximize the opportunity to work part-time. In addition, not every newcomer realizes the power of having a side hustle. Here's one example that's easy and can generate a lot of income. Instex 361 is a 360 camera used to make 3D home interiors utilized by developers and landlords to market their properties. It costs about $400, but you can buy it for even less online if you buy a used one. The average cost to do a 360 tour of a one-bedroom apartment is $300. Now do the math. If you do four of such tours per month, that's $1,200 extra in your pocket. And you can grow from there, eventually train people and only sign clients when they do the work. The best part is that there is a software to make this very simple for you, so you don't even need to have any specific technical skills. I recommend you find a side hustle that makes most sense to you. There's definitely something that will bring both money and enjoyment to you. If you want one month of free rent, all you need to do is click on the link in the description, see if you're eligible and simply fill out a short form. Also, give this video a comment, let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one.